wind part 3 what are the factors which impact the flow of wind there flows the wind it blew away raju's cap oh dada ji is running behind his newspaper look at the trees it looks as if they are merrily singing the birds are also happily flying around what can be said about the wind it makes everyone dance to its tune Sometimes it flows right and at others it flows left. The weather is also surprised. It also changes with the wind. So friends, how is the flow of wind today? I have heard that the wind plays an important role in weather forecast. On the different means of transport like air and water and on the life of plants and just try and think that you had to go out for some important work. but the wind is very strong you see this and hear the sound of the fast wind and think whether you should go or not but how does the wind blow how does it change its direction i have a lot of such questions in my mind i'm sure you do too so come wear your thinking caps let us find out answers to such questions but be careful the wind might blow your cap away to understand the factors which impact the flow of wind friends this is manav and rinku's house the children are having their summer vacations all the children from the neighborhood have gathered in their house to watch the cricket match between india and sri lanka let us also go and find out what are the children doing Today India is surely going to win the match. We just have to make 10 runs and then we will win. Our team is great. Come on now. We have almost won the match. I want to watch the film now. Change the channel. Oh no, the power got cut. How will we now come to know if we won the match or not? This light had to go at this moment. Now we do not know when will it come back. Okay, let us go then. Yes, it is going to take around 2 to 3 hours now. Oh, I am unable to see anything in the dark. Can someone bring a torch or a candle? Wait, I will get it. Mother, mother, where are you? Where is the torch? Manav it is in the room wait i'll bring it <laughs> look at these shapes on the wall oh look the light from the torch is falling on the globe there oh yes think that this torch is like the sun and the globe the earth Yes, that is a good idea. The sun rays also fall like this on the earth. Children, here take this candle. It seems it will take a long time for the light to come back. Why don't we use the candle as the sun? And Rinku, you spin this globe like the earth spins on its axis. Look, this is the equator. The rays of the sun fall directly over it and the sun rays fall slanting on the other areas of the earth. This means that it is very hot at places where the rays of the sun fall directly. Look, the shape of the earth is also round like this globe. That is the reason the sun's rays do not fall equally at all the places. Yes. It is very cold at the north and south pole. Friends, the children are thinking correctly. The places on the earth where the rays of the sun fall directly are very hot and the other places in comparison are less hot or cold. When we spin this globe like the earth and use the candle as the sun then. Yes. Exactly like the sun, isn't it? Yes, and because of this, the places on earth which face the sun have day and the others have night. Does this mean that because of these reasons the flow of wind is determined? 
friends rinku has asked such a nice question do you think that all these factors impact the flow of wind <laughs> the candle extinguished on just walking about wind let us go to the terrace do take the torch it will be dark on the stairs are you scared no no i'm not scared wow it is such a moonlit night so many stars are also shining why don't we sleep on the terrace tonight shalu chachi why are you putting water on the terrace floor mana the floor of the terrace gets very hot due to the blazing sun all day by putting water it cools down and it is comfortable to sleep here look wherever chachi is pouring water the ground releases steam that means it would have become very hot due to the sun this means that even on the places on earth which are very hot the ground and air becomes very hot there yes like we just saw with the help of the candle and the globe that is why the wind is also very warm here but because of putting water the wind seems to be a little cool isn't it yes this means that the places near the equator would have very hot winds blowing i really want to know that how does wind become hot and then cooled again and how does it rises and flows friends looks like the children want to know about the wind patterns do you also want to know like them okay so due to rise in temperature at hot places the air begins to expand and its density decreases as hot air is lighter than cold air it rises because of this the air pressure decreases at these places to fill this gap air with high pressure the cold air comes in from cold places once it comes in hot places the cold air also heats up and rises so due to changes in the temperature the flow of wind keeps taking place we call it the wind flow oh look the power is back come let us go and find out who won the match i'm going to sleep let us go for a walk early in the morning good night friends the children ask some interesting questions we shall also go for a walk with them in the morning wow it was nice to sleep in the open air the mosquitoes bit me all night come let us quickly go for a walk or else it will become very hot during the summers the early morning breezes also so warm come let us sit on that mound of sand for some time the wind is warm the cool breeze has its own charm come let us go somewhere else it is not possible to sit on this sand now it has become hot Let us go near the pond. The air will be cooler there. You were right. It is cooler here. It seems the earth gets warmer sooner than water. Hmm, Manav, do you remember when last year we had gone to Mumbai in our summer vacations? The sea breeze was so pleasant. But what is the cycle? Sometimes the earth gets warmer than water and due to this the wind becomes impacted i am unable to understand so friends have you also got stuck in these questions about the flow of wind come let us do a simple experiment take two bowls fill one with water and the other with sand now keep them in the sun for a few hours now touch the sand and water what did you find out Now keep the same bowls in a cool place at night. Try and touch them again. You will observe that water in comparison to sand heats up slowly and cools down slowly. The similar thing happens on earth and on the seaside. The land heats up on the seaside in the day time 
the hot air rises the cool air from the sea comes and takes its place the reverse happens at night the land cools down faster than water at night due to which the wind starts to flow towards the sea it is going to rain in few days the monsoon will arrive then there are going to be cool winds everywhere i really like the rainy season yes it is fun to make paper boats and row them in puddles i really love to jump in puddles too yes and you get a scolding from your mother because of this look it has begun to drizzle let us go home and ask dada ji all our questions about these changing wind patterns friends there are a lot of different kinds of winds that blow on earth like monsoon winds hot winds cold winds etc other than temperatures the geographical locations the spinning of the earth on its axis etc impact the wind patterns now all of you also collect information on the different types of winds we shall meet soon friends